Hey all, here OS Reviews. Today we're taking a quick look at the Trifo Ollie. This is a smart robot vacuum cleaner that's advertised as suitable for homes that have pets to pick up more pet hair and even has a built-in laser beam which can amuse cats. With that being said, I think even for folks without pets, it could still be worth considering in the sense that because it's able to suck up more hair, it could also give you just a bit more of suction power in addition to some of the other modes and functions including a built-in HEPA filter on here which can purify the air seems to be something I think generally speaking that most folks would find value in as well as it has a built-in security cam as well on the front of the vacuum which is a feature that I think more robot vacuum cleaners should honestly adopt. You're able to also see what the camera of the robot is seeing and control it. So for example, if you're on vacation, you can set up the robot to clean on certain days and compared to a physical home security cam that can only stay in one spot, this can kind of drive around a room. So it combines multiple features in one from vacuuming up to 4,000 PA of suction power, which is considered to be pretty aggressive for a robot cleaner. Security cam even has a night video recording mode. In terms of resolution, it's 1080p for that camera. It's using a depth sensor on the side. So it's not using a LiDAR sensor on this particular model, which is why the top here is completely flat. The benefit is it can crawl under sofas and beds more easily. The downside is the mapping system. It's considered quite good. It will detect objects and plan its route intelligently, but it doesn't have as much speed and accuracy as a true LiDAR 3D sensor. The object detection, by the way, works for products which are larger than one inch, even has an air freshener component, which is pretty neat. Another feature, though, that this model doesn't have would be a mopping mode. So this is a robot vacuum only, and it wouldn't wet the floor. All right, so inside the box, we have, of course, a quick start guide. Everything is accented in this kind of gold shimmer, and you can download the companion app called Trifo from the iOS or Android app stores. And underneath, we see that the robot also has a bit of a accent on the top kind of in the shape of a triangle no tangle hair adapter which you can attach at the back of the robot very interestingly the laser pointer is kind of a separate accessory which isn't actually mounted directly on the robot but you stick it on using a 3m tape and it takes a separate single AAA battery the same compartment here with the laser also contains a slot for the air freshener if you want the room to smell better and it can take pretty much any just regular sponge that you apply some essential oil to but you get a few pre-included packets lemon scented but like i said you can easily use any essential oil to change the flavor if you desire and then it just tells you how to attach that little laser pointer. Last but not least there's just the rechargeable docking station which also has infrared so the robot can know where it's located and automatically return to charge itself when it's running low on power. Like the design of the robot itself it's going with this gold accent. I do find it a little bit strange that this AC cable is white since the dock here is predominantly black, so maybe if they can also color coordinate this it would be even more attention to detail. So the robot itself, as aforementioned, has this predominant kind of gold or copper shine on the front, which has this aluminum alloy surface. The body, though, is constructed primarily out of a polycarbonate plastic. You'll find a power as well as a home key on the very top, sensors as well as a bumper to prevent it from hitting on something if it accidentally touches an object. What you'll notice is that there is no conventional remote control included in the box, so you have to program it using the companion app on this model. Something that I do like about the design here is you can actually lift up this metal lid and that acts as a door that hides the dust compartment. So it's a model that has this flip open design instead of mounted on the side, which I do prefer. I think it's a little bit more ergonomic just to lift this up uh, when you are cleaning it. And this is what the compartment looks like and the also included HEPA filter on the side here. Now on the very front of the robot, you also find that's where the camera lens is located along with an infrared IR bulb. Otherwise on the very rear, we have just the typical kind of uh, wheels, which are pretty heavy duty. They can collapse and help it climb over carpets, rugs, things like that, as well as the typical rollers and uh, contacts here for charging. What you notice is the side brushes, you have just one on this model, but overall it still does the trick considering it will go back in its path and then kind a flip in the orientation anyways. The side brush, by the way, is just designed for collecting dust at the corners. It will push it inwards and then the dust gets sucked in. Here's a quick size comparison against Xiaomi's Dreamy Bot L10 Pro. Dimensions of the Trifo Ollie, I would say, are comparable. So this is a 
pretty standard size robot vacuum cleaner by 2022 standards. So let's take a closer look at the main UI here of the app. We can see the cleaning area, the time, as well as the battery percentage remaining. And we can also start the clean from here, have it return to the charging dock, as well as under more features, you can find some designated cleaning modes, areas that you can set up in the room that it won't go into, as well as being able to manually control the robot, uh, which will, as you can see here, open up the virtual D-pad in which you can use to push the robot around, kind of like an RC car. As you heard, the voice commands and speakers on the robot do also pop along, so uh, it is present and it will tell you those voice commands as it is doing certain tasks. We can also start to see that the depth sensor being starting to kick on and working its action. So as it's spinning in the room, it's trying to detect the different walls. We can also have the robot start to do a full scan of the room in which it will find the different parameters and map itself out in more detail. Usually that takes a minute or two for it to finish processing. So like we said, the accuracy is decent, but it's not as fast as a LiDAR sensor, which will usually just spin 360 degrees and then captures everything on here. It needs to move a little bit more to get that path sorted. But overall performance is still pretty decent once the mapping is completed and we can also begin the vacuuming from there as well as also change things like the intensity of the vacuuming. Again at that maximum strength it's definitely a little on the louder side you'll for sure hear it in the room as it's working its action uh, but in one of the more quiet modes like it is right now it becomes softer but you can definitely choose between those different levels depending on how intense you need the clean to be. So let's exit, exit out of that manual control mode and we start to see again the map here starting to be populated now with more details. On the very top by the way we have some additional settings, a do not disturb mode which will basically disable all of the voice prompts and it will prevent it from speaking to you as it's uh, entering different modes. You can also resume a room cleaning so if you have this function turned on let's say the trash of the robot is full and you stop it, you dump out the trash, it will remember where it last left off and continue there. You can also set up the automated schedules so it will start to again clean during certain days and times during the week as well as quiet mode during certain hours as well that will prevent it from waking others around you uh, when it's doing its vacuum as well as check out different history and under maintenance you can also see how long you've been using the different components inside including the brush, side brush and filter and you can see it's estimated made it to last about 150 hours of usage before it's recommended to then purchase a new one for the best effect. Under motion detection, now this one here is really using the aforementioned security camera, which is triggered when the robot is on its docking station and being charged. Obviously when it's moving around, it's not going to activate the motion detection since the robot itself will be moving. But if you are charging it and you have this function turned on, you also get alerts if there has been motion that is detected. It will act pretty much like any other standard security surveillance cam in that mode. It will record about a 10 second snippet of the video and what's smart is the camera is pointing still outward so when it's being charged that part doesn't get covered up. The thing to note though is again the point of view is rather low as expected since it's on the floor so it may not always capture people's faces unless it's a little bit further away. If you have pets around the house you can monitor how they're doing and kind of speak to them. Pets can hear your voice and uh, in that sense it works quite well since most dogs and cats will be a little closer to the ground and anyways. The laser pointer is actually pointing backwards, so it's in the opposite direction as what the robot is seeing and moving in in terms of the direction. And that's good because if a cat or animal sees the laser pointer beam, they're going to always be behind the robot. However, that particular laser beam, again, it's controlled just from the side. So you have to tap on that to turn it on. There isn't a way for you to automate it from the app. You also can find my robot, which will basically prompt it to talk to you and tell you its location in that chime. So you can try and again find it if it's behind a sofa or somewhere that got stuck and see what the camera is seeing uh, just by tapping on start video, video is on. and you'll see that uh, snippet pop along there just on the very top it has a pretty good quality to it you can also full screen if you want to have a larger view of what the camera is seeing right now it's still in the color mode because we have sufficient light around us but we can also toggle into the night mode it will be monochromatic black and white but you can definitely see in the dark which is neat even if everything else is turned off in terms of lighting and then here's the color now the aspect ratio tends to be shrunken down a little bit in the night mode save a image of what the camera is seeing onto your phone just by tapping that key as well as begin recording video which will also be saved onto your phone 
someone's memory. So anyways, let's do a quick demo now of just the robot cleaning itself a little bit more. It does seem to be rather effective when it comes to just the vacuuming power, picks up quite a lot of dust as well as hair, and overall it's uh, doing a good job in terms of mapping its environment. It tends to go in a zigzag pattern by default and tries to avoid going to the same spot twice and even underneath some of the racks as you saw there under sofas and beds. Now the laser pointer as you can see there does also conserve on battery so there's a standby mode where if it doesn't detect motion it will turn off but if you have something in front of it that's being waved or if it's moving around that's when it actually turns on. We can see that now it's going to be blinking so there's a second mode just depending on which one you prefer. It allows you to speak to the robot and so someone in the other room is able to hear you but you tap on the map portion of the screen there to activate that microphone feature so for example hello, hello this, is this is a test and you can hear that works fine just like most home security cams now last but not least i will just mention that this particular model like we said does not come with a mopping function however there are a few other variants which does come with a water tank dustbin for mopping. So that's going to be an extra add-on if you choose. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Trifo Ollie. It has to be one of the more versatile and interesting robot vacuum cleaners that I've seen. The design works quite well, the suction strength is great, but it has all of these interesting add-ons, which is kind of making it a bit more modular and fun in my opinion. Regardless of if you have a pet or not, it can be just a fun one to play around with if you're looking for just a bit more surveillance around the house. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.